Carolina from Carolina's Crafts here. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So my new YouTube schedule is that I film planning videos on Mondays. And then Wednesday and Friday is either like beauty, fashion, nail art, recipes, anything like that. So I hope you guys subscribe and join me for this journey. have a backdrop. How does it look guys? Let me know how does it look. It's fabulous, isn't it? Because it's Wednesday, today's video is my top five favorite juicing recipes. If you guys don't have a juicer, you totally need to have one. Green juices and fruit juices and vegetable juices are my life. I don't know if you guys watch my vlog channel, but if you do, you guys already know that I love my green juices. Like, <laughs> I get so excited over drinking a green juice. Like, you guys have no idea. I think they're so tasty. It does take some time getting used to if you are new to the green juice world, but in the end, they're so delicious and they're so healthy for you, and your skin is gonna thank you later. And you'll probably thank me too. I mean, you could just say thank you in the comment section down below. <laughs> now let me get started on my top five favorite juicing recipes. Everything from green juices, vegetable juices, fruit juices, and these are nice and simple. You guys are going to love them. The juicer that I have is the Omega J8006 Masticating Juicer, and I love this thing, guys. I will have a link down below in case you guys want to purchase one as well. Masticating juicers get more juice from your vegetables and produce than other juicers do. So those big ones that you see where they take the whole fruit, those you need a lot more produce to get the same amount of juice as this one. For this first recipe you'll need one cucumber, one apple, half of a lemon, two celery sticks, half an inch piece of ginger, and eight to ten kale leaves. You can also add a big chunk of pineapple to add to the sweetness of the juice. You want all of your produce to be washed and then you want to cut it up into small pieces or whatever size pieces you need for your juicer to handle. And then you'll put all of your produce into the juicer and I alternate between a vegetable that has a lot of juice and then kale because kale doesn't have that much juice. You'll get the most juice out of your kale when you alternate it this way. Leftover pulp is a great addition to your morning smoothie bowls, any smoothies, or even pancakes. This recipe makes 32 ounces of juice, so you can put it into 16 ounce jars like I did and then just put one jar in the refrigerator for the next day. It'll stay good up to three days. For this next recipe, you'll need two oranges and some strawberries. You will need one cup of strawberries total. You'll also need a blender for this recipe, so you want to put your strawberries in your cup and just put that aside, and in the meantime, you want to cut up your oranges and peel them, and then just juice them. Once you have all of your fresh squeezed orange juice, just add that into the blended cup and blend. By blending the strawberries instead of juicing them, you're getting a lot more fiber. Then just add some straws, cheers, and enjoy! For this next recipe, you'll need one cup basil, approximately 10 mint leaves, one cucumber, one lime and two apples. First you want to muddle the mint. I don't have a muddler but this is what I'm using and you just want to keep muddling until it looks wet. Then you just want to chop up your fruits and vegetables. And 
just juice all of your ingredients. This is actually one of my favorite recipes. It reminds me of the Cool Lime Refresher from Starbucks, so this is definitely one of my summer favorites. When you're done juicing, just add your mint into your cup and then pour the juice over the mint. The mint will come to the top, so when you put it in a straw, you won't have any mint in your mouth. And then just enjoy! For this next recipe, you'll need some carrots, so I'm just peeling all of the ones that I have. To start off for this next one, you'll need a mango. You want to peel and cut your mango. You're also going to need half of an apple and three carrots. Then you just want to chop up all of your fruits and veggies. And process them all through the juicer. For this last recipe, you'll need two beets, so I'm just going to cut off the ends, and we don't need the green parts either, and then I'm going to peel them. And then you also need four carrots and half an inch piece of ginger. Cut up all your veggies and then just process them in the juicer. Lastly, pour and enjoy! So I hope you guys enjoyed my top 5 favorite juicing recipes. Definitely give them a try and if you guys do give them a try, please let me know in the comment section down below. I think my two favorite ones are obviously the green juice, like I love the green juices the most. I don't know why, but I just do. I also like the mango carrot focus one because that one is nice and sweet, so if I'm in the mood for something like super sweet, I would drink that and I would still get like fruits into my system. Even though these recipes are my top five, I still have the least favorite and that one is the beet carrot ginger. But I drink it because it's still good for you and you need some kind of variety in your juices. You can't just drink like the same one all the time because then you'll have like too much of a certain vitamin in your body. So you definitely have to like switch it up or change it up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun filming it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Just hit that red subscribe button and I will thank you so so much forever and ever. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on Friday with another video. Bye!